You may have heard of Planet Nine, and no, I don't mean Pluto. I mean a roughly Neptune-sized planet that's between 400 and 800 so times the distance between the Sun and the Earth away from here. And we haven't seen it. We only think that it might be there because of the clustering of other objects that far out in the solar system. You see, at that huge distance from the Sun, Planet Nine couldn't have originally formed because the planets formed from a disk of material surrounding the young Sun, and there simply wouldn't have been enough material that far out. If it's there, it must have formed closer in. And some researchers have done a bunch of modeling how it could have formed in the inner solar system and ended up way out in the outer solar system. Now in the early solar system, the giant planets jostled around quite a bit. They weren't as stable in their orbits as they are now. And that jostling could have caused some gravitational effects that would have chucked Planet Nine right out of the solar system. But these researchers found that if it actually happened during the first three to five million years of our solar system's existence, our star, the sun, may have been close enough to the other stars from the cluster in which it formed that the gravitational effects of those stars could have saved planet nine from being chucked into deep space and kept it bound to our own star. The researchers looked at the likelihood that this could happen in other star systems, and they found that it should happen in about one of every thousand of them. But our system is special. We have more giant planets than most of other star systems. So that means that the probability of it happening here could be as high as 40%. The Vera Rubin Telescope in Chile, which is a huge telescope that's gonna take an enormous survey of the entire sky, and it should find lots of moving objects within our own solar system. Fingers crossed that one of those moving objects that it finds is Planet Nine.